Hey everybody! Welcome back to JavaScript Made Easy. In today's video we are going to take a look at another JavaScript array method, and this time we will look at the splice method. If you're brand new to JavaScript, don't worry. I'm going to walk you through this slowly. You should know at least what an array is. Beyond that, this video is extremely user-friendly. Are you ready to talk about the splice method? And ice cream? All right, let's get started. Be sure that you don't confuse the splice method with the slice method. I have another video on the slice method where we talk about pizza instead of ice cream. So if you want to see the video on the slice method, I'll put a link to that in the comments below. But today, we'll be looking at the splice method. So as usual, let's go ahead and take a look at the MDN page for the splice method to get a general idea of how the splice method works. As I've said before, it's a really good idea to get in the habit of checking the Mozilla Developer Network page when you're unsure or need to review how one of the JavaScript methods work. So as we can see here, the splice method changes the content of an array by removing existing elements from the array or by adding new elements to the array or by doing both of those things all at the same time. This method takes up to three arguments or parameters, a starting index, a delete count, the number of items you want to remove, and optionally, the items that you want to add to the array if you're adding items to the array. Now, this is different from the slice method because the slice method, as we can see here, returns a copy of a portion of an array in a new array object. So we would use the slice method when we want to keep our original array intact, but make a copy of some portion of that original array. Whereas with the splice method, we're actually going to change the original array by either removing items from the array or adding items to the array or by doing both. Now, there are other ways to remove and add items from arrays. Perhaps you've heard of the push method or the pop method or the shift method or the unshift method. Those are very common methods to use, but they're very limited because they only allow you to add and remove from either the beginning or the end of an array. So let's talk about ice cream and how to use this really handy, fantastic splice method. The splice method is used to remove or add elements to and from an array. Let's look first at how to use the splice method to remove elements of an array. And we do this by relying on the index of the array. So here we have an array. We've declared it var ice cream. And we set that equal to an array with four items in it, all strings. So we have sherbet, raspberry, caramel, and cherry. Now, as I said, if we wanted to add an item to the end of the array after cherry, we could use the push method because the push method allows us to add items to the end of an array, but it's limited because we can only add them to the end with the push method. Now, if we wanted to add an item to the beginning of the array before Sherbert, we could use the unshift method, also very limited because it only allows us to add an item to the very beginning of the array. So the splice method allows us to add and remove elements at a specific index in the array. That is, we can remove elements from anywhere in the array and we can add elements back into anywhere in the array. So as you know, array elements are located by index. The first element in the array has an index of zero. The second element in the array has an index of one and so on. We will remove items by their index or their location in the array. 
Again, we could use push to add an item to the end of the array. We could use pop to remove an item from the end of the array. We could use unshift to add an item to the beginning of the array. And we could use shift to remove an item from the beginning of the array. Splice is much more useful to us. So what we want to start out with is a little exercise in using the splice method that allows us to remove one of the elements from the array. Let's try to remove the caramel ice cream from the array. That is the element at the second index, the third element of our array, the caramel ice cream, which is located at index two. So how do we use the splice method to remove this item from the array? Let's take a look. Let's start out by declaring our array for our ice cream. equals sherbert raspberry caramel caramel and cherry now if we type in ice cream we can see that that now holds the value of sherbert raspberry caramel and cherry Let's go ahead and apply the splice method to remove the caramel ice cream from the array. So remember to remove an item with the splice method. We will perform the splice method on the array and we need to give the starting index and the number of items that we want to remove. We don't need the third parameter because we're not adding any items just yet. So what we will do is call the splice method on the array and since we want to remove the caramel ice cream which is that index 2 we want to start at index 2 and we want to delete one item. The splice method returns to us the item that is removed and we can see that our array ice cream now has just three elements sherbet, raspberry, and cherry. The splice method is really very easy for such a useful JavaScript method. Let's go back to our original array of ice cream with sherbet, raspberry, caramel, and cherry. Now, what if we want to remove the caramel and the raspberry from the array? We can do that. We can add or remove as many items as we would like with the splice method. Let's copy the original array here. Clear this out. Let's declare ice cream again with all four items. So let's take a look. You can see that it has all four items in there. And now what we want to do is use the splice method to remove both the caramel and the raspberry. How would we do that? Take just a minute and see if you can figure that out. So remember that we start with the original array, we apply the splice method to it, and the first argument is the index where we will start, and since we want to remove the caramel and the raspberry, we want to start at the raspberry, it's the second element at index 1, so we want to start at index 1 and we want to remove two items, okay? So it returns those two items that we've removed, and the ice cream array now has two remaining items, sherbet and cherry. Let's return again to our original array. We'll just go ahead and copy that original array again. Set ice cream. So we have all four flavors back in our ice cream array. And now, what if we want to remove the raspberry, caramel, and cherry? 
and we want to add in a chocolate cone. Well, first, let's just see how we might remove the raspberry, caramel, and cherry from our ice cream array. So this should start to feel familiar. We'll start with the ice cream array. We'll call the splice method on it. We know that we want to start at index one with a raspberry, and we want to remove three items. Let's see how that works. Yep, we've removed all three. And we have just sherbet remaining. But we can also remove all three of these items simply by starting at index one and not giving the second argument. So if we just do ice cream dot splice and we only pass in index one for an argument, it's still going to remove all three elements. The reason for this is that if you only pass in the first argument, the index at which to begin removing items, it will remove all of the items in the, in the array starting with that index number. So even if we had 200 items in the array and we spliced it beginning at item one and didn't give a second parameter, then we would remove all items from index one through the end of the array. Okay, let's clear this out. Let's grab our original array first. Let's take a look at how we can remove those three items and at the same time add in a new element to our array. You guessed it, we're gonna start with ice cream dot splice. What would the first argument be? We're going to remove index one, index two, and index three, so we know we need to start at index one. Now, we want to remove three items, and we also want to add an item in after we remove the three items, starting with index one. So we're gonna add in chocolate. We can see that the splice method has returned raspberry, caramel, and cherry, removing those from our original array, leaving us with sherbet and chocolate. So in just one line of code, we were able to remove three items from our array and add in a new item, leaving us with sherbet and chocolate in our array how might we just add vanilla right in the middle of these two without removing any items? Well, currently our ice cream array has sherbet and chocolate, and we're gonna use the splice method. So again, ice cream dot splice. So far, we've indicated the index at which we want to begin removing items but we don't want to remove any items here, we just want to add one. But it works the same way. We're gonna use all three parameters, all three arguments, and we're going to start not at index zero, because we don't wanna add one or remove one before index zero, but we'll start at index one. And at index one, we want to remove how many? Zero, we don't wanna remove any. But we do want to add one, and we want to add vanilla. You can see we get an empty array back because we haven't removed anything from our array. And when we call ice cream, we get our array with sherbet, vanilla in the middle, and chocolate. So as you can see, the splice method is really quite easy, though it might seem overwhelming initially. I really hope this video has been helpful in making JavaScript array methods easy to understand. And I'll see you again next time.